Hello everyone, Dylan from Dylan Day is here with another LEGO Star Wars review, and this one is on Droid Escape Pod. <coughs> right, so, first of all, we have the box here. See the LEGO logo, Star Wars logo, Kylo Ren there. You see all the characters in action, and Choking Hazard, Disney logo, all the mini figures there, and. <coughs> And recommended eight is seven through twelve. Set number seven five one three six, and has a hundred ninety seven pieces. You see all the minifigs on the top. Was the actual size of one of the Jawas. And on the back, you see uh, the little features of it and what they kind of includes and action and everything. Yeah. That's about it with the box and with the booklet. Just the same picture as on the front and everything. <coughs> you can see how to win Lego products on the online survey that you can do. Then add for Lego Club and add for some kind of app there. Then the pieces included and the finishing result of it. And also the little thing that shows building or how to build it and stuff. So with the mini figure, the first two you get the mainly get this set for is a pair of the Jawas. As you can see, really bring it out. Let me get the line on. Let's see, has some like some good detailing and. <clears throat> the face print, very iconic to it. <clears throat> that each one's printing is somewhat kind of different. <clears throat> oh, I guess. Well, yeah, you get it. I see one's weapon is different than the other. It's kind of odd, but yeah. Oh uh, yeah. And what the main set is mainly for is the droids. Uh, uh, see, 3 po Which is very unusual, like how he was before The Force Awakens. And the same headpiece mold and everything. And of course, same as ever. And R2D2, also the same. And also the back of the head, also. Okay. And then down to it, the escape pod itself. You see, he just jets on the back, also kind of, kind of nice. And the first thing you'll notice is <coughs> that these markings all over, they're all stickers. And stuff inside it are all stickers. But this front piece, the only printed piece in the set. <coughs> and you'll see. See, there's plenty of nice odd things on the sides. And what these things sticking out for is well, you can like open it and got the interior of it. <coughs> and also, do get a couple more stickers. Like this one of it. And this one's showing the Imperial Star Destroyer to probably to represent it flying off from it. And also, what these, this thing here for is you can slip it out and it's the plans for the Death Star. <coughs> and you, no, it's not a sticker either, it's printed on. <coughs> so there's quite a lot of big stickers, so it might kind of hard for you guys. <coughs> and yes, you can see both of the droids in here. Just like so. <coughs> and there. <and, uh, coughs> and, let's see. 
the edging of it is done pretty goodly. I think you got a bit good use of all these slope pieces, to probably to make it a little aerodynamic and everything. And same with on the bottom part there. Probably what you'd expect from a usual escape pod then. <coughs> and the uh, but also if you're thinking of seeing them through there, well you can't. Unless if you open these up and you can see through it. And also if you remove it, then yeah. And um, I, as you see, the color scheme goes quite nice together. Just gray, dark gray, and a little bit of silver, but some random tan here and there. But I think it does kind of work for it, since the tan brings out the sandiness of Tatooine, whatever. Overall verdict impressions on this set is that I think it's a pretty good set. That if you're looking to have the R2D2 and C3PO minifigs and a jaw, pair of Jawas, this is a good one. And if, or if you want something from Star Wars Episode Four: A New Hope, then go ahead and get this one. And that's about it with this video. And peace out. See ya. Bye.